we're going to be taking the rear mud guard off of this uh, Virago 535. Uh, earlier we took off the swinging arm and the exhaust. Um, now we're going to take the rear mud guard off. Oh, but first we've got to disconnect the wiring for the indicators and the rear lights, which is just under here. Uh, okay, it goes through a little hole underneath the mud guard. Just pull the poppers out. And this side is just for the indicator. And there's a screw missing actually. There's a screw, two Phillips. There's one here. This side, I have WD 40 of them. Other lubricants are available, I believe. 10 mil nut bolt. There. 10 mil there. I'll get my colleague to support it. That was so easy. Well, that take five minutes, if that. Now we're going to strip everything off the mud guard. We'll do it here. I've got plenty of room. I've got some WD-40 on these um, indicator bolts. Right. I've, I've put some WD-40 on the nuts that I can see, or the threads that I see. I'm just going to bang, pull these tags over that's holding the wire. They're a little bit flimsy, so one has to be a bit careful. It's all the rust, I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah. So these indicators are 17 mil. Hold the indicator. Oh, look at that. That was a bit of luck. These indicators look rather like a lot of all the Yamahas, don't they? Through the grommet there, Wallace. Oh, look, somebody got. We've got a grommet on here. We've got a cover. Before we can get it all the way on. See, the other side hasn't got one, so somebody's obviously been in there before. So that's one indicator. Right, we're going to take this uh, rear mud flap off, I suppose you call it. So that's 11 mil. There's a, they're all quite loose. There's a screw head on uh, the other side of it. But it doesn't seem to be spinning at the moment. And then you've got two little 8 mils. And you can see it's a little bit wet in here. I've been putting the lubricant on. Well then, truly, let's see if we can. See what else do these little tiny ones? Oh no, they're going round. Right, what well, what have we got? Right, well, we've turned it over because there's a screw head there. So we'll put a screwdriver in there and just because it was spinning round. Let's do the other one. Really little eight mil, they will snap really easy, I one would imagine if I Oh, look at that. We've been lucky today. Makes a change. So I'm gonna just take that all the way off. Down there. Just spin it. Down there. Oh, just comes off like that. That's the number plate. I've just taken the number plate bracket off. Take the mid mud flap off now. One side, put the nuts back on. And then it's just the rear light, the tail light now. There's a ratchet. That's 10 mil by the looks of it, looking at it. It's the original paint under here, look. Not bad for 1997. It's 
26 years old. Um, all we're going to do is rub it down, de rust it, rust eater, etch prime it, and I think we're just going to underseal it. Right, that's it. Got a long, long wire. Save yourself some money there, Yamaha. Shorten it. Right. What I'll do is put those two little nuts and bolts up for the number plate thing. And uh, basically, that sit stripped down. As you can see, all we've got to do is take the helmet lock off and this other indicator bit, but we're waiting for the WD-40 to work its wonders probably a day or so. And then we'll um, we go to work on it. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.